place. Today's video is all about Milton's surgery that she had this week. This is going to be a reminder for you guys to be on the lookout for anything on your dog. You guys know them better than anyone so just make sure that you examine them on the daily to make sure that you are made aware of any animality that arises and that you are aware of everything that goes on with your dog. Long story short, Milton had surgery this week to get a mass removed from her ear. When she went in for surgery, she actually had a second little mass on the ear that we got removed as well. It's on this side of her ear. She is doing well, so right now we are just waiting for the pathologist results for the biopsied tissue. I want to rewind to the beginning of the story for you guys to be aware of what to look out for for your dog. So about a month ago, beginning of November, we scheduled Milton in for an appointment because we noticed that she was very itchy on the ears and we noticed a mass on the ear. It had popped out of nowhere, so I just wanted to get it checked out. When we arrived to the vet, the vet told us that Milton had a bilateral ear infection. So on both ears, she had an ear infection and she was immediately put on antibiotics and ear medication for two weeks to get rid of that. As for the little mass, the vet told us that it was probably a histiocytoma and he asked us to just keep an eye on it. He said that if it grows, I can come back and then we can do further testing. But I insisted, I was like, if I'm already here, can you just do an aspiration and can you just do a test to make sure that it's nothing serious. So I had to insist for him to actually do a test. Uh, at first, I just wanted to get it checked out because I thought it could be like just some sort of pimple. I know a few dogs that are prone to having like acne and little cysts. I know my sister's dog once had like a big mass on his back and when they brought him, him into the vet, the doctor just literally squeezed it and it was full of like literally like pus. So it was just a big pimple, so I thought it could have been that. But the doctor thought it was nothing to be really alarmed for. I still made him do the test, he sent it in for cytology. So the first test that they did on the mass was an aspiration of the liquid inside the little mass. So it was very bloody. He sent that into the lab. He said Milton should come back in three weeks or so to follow up on the ear infection to make sure that everything is resolved. But also the next day, he already called me back for the results of the cytology and he said that it was benign. Basically, it's a growing mass that is benign. But when we came back for her ear infection follow-up, which is three weeks later, she was on ear infection medication for two weeks and then he said leave it alone for one week. When we came back on the third week, the mass was really big too. It had literally doubled in size. It was, it looked really like odd. So, so today is November 22nd and here is the update. She just went to the vet for follow-up for her double ear infection and we had her mass checked out again. Um, following the biopsy, everything was okay, but <laughs> sit, Milton, sit. So here is what it looks like now. They measured it and they say it doubled in three weeks, which is pretty concerning. Um, the biopsy came back that it's not cancerous, but it's still like, like clearly you guys see like it's a mass. It's probably a benign mass, but it's still a mass and it's huge. Um, that's why we wanted to get it checked out. But this was the follow-up appointment for her ear infection. And we still have another week to go because the infection's not totally gone. Poor Milton. And we just booked her surgery. So we decided to get it checked out at the same time. And as soon as they saw the mask, they looked like really worried. Andy took Milton to the vet at that time and they immediately suggested that we take her in for surgery to get that removed and we agreed right away. We scheduled her for the following week, which brings us to this week. What's odd enough is that between the second appointment and the third appointment when we scheduled her for the surgery, the mass had gone down in size but on its own, so it's really weird. That's what I find is really weird about that mass is that it appeared out of nowhere, it grew really fast, but then it shrunk a little bit within a span of a week, so it's really odd tissue and when the vet operated her she took the tissue to get analyzed by a pathologist because a cytology test and a pathology test is very different when you aspirate the liquid in the mass is very different analysis than when you actually have the physical tissue that the pathologist can then analyze so we sent that in to the pathologist for him to analyze and then they can tell us more about what it is uh, most likely is a benign growing tumor, I'm going to call it a tumor or a cyst, a mass. And the worst case scenario they told us was that it would, it could be a very aggressive cancer type. And in that case, we might have to take more aggressive measures. For example, 
um, do more tests or even remove the ear in some cases. So I'm hoping it's not going to be anything too alarming. After I posted this on Instagram and on Facebook, a lot of people told us that once their dog got these little masses, they start appearing uh, more rapidly around the body. So I'm going to take a close look at Milton every day to just be aware of any little masses that may arise. So this is the point of my video. Just make sure that you examine your dogs daily to make sure that you notice the little changes on your dog because nobody is going to know your dog better than you do. So the day before surgery, I really wanted Milton to feel her very best. So I gave her an at-home spa. I gave her a good shower, a bath, and I also clipped her nails. The day before, they always ask us to go to the vet for a pre-op consultation. Dr. Arsenault, she has two vets as well. So I, was, I felt very safe and secure having her examine and do the surgery on Milton. They always like to make sure that the dogs are all okay. We do the blood work. We check the temperature to make sure that they're all good. And she provides us with all the information we need to know about the surgery. Milton was very stressed out already at the vet so I tried my very best to make her feel as safe as possible and of course Herky was there because she is Milton's emotional support. I just think that's adorable. They go everywhere together. On the morning of the surgery, I just wanted to make sure that Milton felt as loved as possible. So we cuddled in bed. We took our time that morning and Andy is the one that went to drop her off as I stayed with Oasis to have him nap. Okay, so we just got to the vet. Good luck, Milton! What an odd location for a vet beside the highway. Hi, Milton! You're gonna be a good girl, okay? You're gonna be a good girl. You're gonna do great. Ready to come pick you up tonight. Okay, Milton? And the vet got some Kabbology toys. How fun. So Milton's really afraid of the vet, poor girl. I'm gonna put down my phone and pick her up. We're just going there. Okay, Milton, I'll pick you up. Bye, Milton. We'll be back tonight. Oh my gosh, she's so scared. She's shaking so much. She'll take care of you. Okay. Hi, my Milton. Hello, sweet girl. How'd you do? Daddy kissing me, me. No, Tim. Milton's gonna go and rest. No, no, Tim. She's very stressed. She's very stressed. Oh, no. Oh, she's very tired. Look, Herky. It's Mew Mew. It's Mew Mew. Mew Mew is home. Mew Mew is home. But go careful. But go be careful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mew Mew. Mew Mew. Mew Mew. Mew Mew. Mew Mew. Mew Mew. Mew Girl. <laughs> okay, my girl. You're gonna let me rest up, okay? Where's she gonna go? She's gonna go in the basement. <laughs> right. Get, feed her dinner. Yep. And then bring her to her bed. Good job, mom. Yes. You saved Milton. Milton. How you feeling, Milton? You good? You good? Milton, the present. Hi, present. I'm gonna take this off, okay, my girl? Hey, you too. You jealous? She's so big. Oh my god. Yep. Look, what's the danger? So that's going to be my, the point of my video today and I hope it can be helpful for any of you 
watching. Milton is doing well. She's still not 100% just because she's pretty groggy from like anesthesia and it hurts her ear. She's not on any uh, pain management medication and she does have like like stitches on her ear which is never comfortable. So she's going to be resting for the next few days and I'm just happy that those masses are gone. So if you've experienced anything like this, do share your story in the comments below. If you have any questions, leave them below as well. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. It really helps out our channel. We love you guys and we'll see you soon.